What's going on guys, back to bring another video. I messed up on yesterday's intro. I didn't include it in the video because I didn't get to go work out and I was talking about back and biceps. But basically what we're gonna go do is we're gonna go have an in-depth leg workout. Like I'll mute the audio and I'll just talk over it and tell you what, like where to do this, where to squat, where to do this, where to put your penis, all that good stuff. Did I just say penis? Anyways, we're gonna let the other Isaiah, the one that recorded yesterday, we're gonna let him do all his stuff. And then we're going to go to the gym. But I'm heading to the gym right now, so he better hurry up. Well, guys, I made it home from the bank. I'm going to do a little bit of studying. I'm going to eat my meal prep. I've already started eating it. I forgot to record before I really leave for school. I got about an hour and stuff. So I'm just doing some recap studying just to get ready. And I'm going to start a time lapse in three, two, one. Done with the food, done with this. Time to make a protein shake. All right guys, time to make a protein shake before we go to school. I'm gonna drink it on my way. That's how you get your extra protein in. First of all, get you a shaker cup, put some water in it. If you like milk with your protein with it in a blender bottle and you just mix it up with milk, you are freaking weird. Shut up, mate. Anyways, we got the Pez Science. What flavor is this? Peanut butter cup. Got that peanut butter cookie. If I could get a scoop, that would be grand. Okay. So then you get a scoop. Just dump it in there real fast. Yeah, that was nice. I'm in. That's what she said. All right. Well, I'm going to shake this up. And I am going to maybe, I might say something on my way to school. Who knows? I forgot to. Ah! You know, I love Alabama so much. This is what it does every god day. Since the other Isaiah thinks he's so cool, I stole his hat, by the way. Thinks he's so cool and he can shake up a protein shake. Well, I got another thing coming for that guy. So basically what you do, you take a pre-workout, got the lead AF cotton candy, sports, blue raspberry with cotton candy, and we're gonna see how that tastes. Screw the lid on, make sure you got it very tight for what we're about to do. Get it on there, make sure that lid's popped on, and you know, just wait a second. Ah! We're gonna, do legs so there ain't gonna be no pump going on don't know what the heck i'm talking about so uh leave me a comment down below if you like doing legs because i actually enjoy it like i do enjoy doing legs i mean you can tell man i got these freaking huge old legs man you know what i mean i'm just kidding i ain't got the huge legs daddy's home I always start with every compound lift warming up with the bar i usually do more reps than this but i just did two slow controlled movements going down and up explode up and then i go to 135 do the same thing basically whatever i warmed up with the bar i do the same thing so it's two very slow controlled exploding up movements and that's really going to get me warm and ready to go and then 225 the exact same thing you really want to make sure you're warmed up on legs so i mean i roll out and everything before that but i didn't get any clips of that but 225 two slow control movements explode up and really feel the weight on you I'm gonna put a screenshot up at the end of this workout, so if you don't wanna watch all this commentary and explaining the movements and everything, go ahead and move to the end, and there's gonna be a screenshot there with everything that I did. But, so this is 62.5% of my max. I did a three by five here with 245 pounds. What I like to do, I squat, I take a deep breath, and then go down and push out of my knees. I know this isn't much weight, but it's more of just, I'm on the second week of the program. Bell RDL is one of my favorite movements. What you wanna do is not bend at your waist. That's how many people do this movement wrong. You wanna push your butt backwards and feel it in your hamstring and your glutes instead of your lower back. The harder you push your butt back, the more you're gonna feel it. We did a four by 12 on this, as you can see on the screen. I love this movement. I'm only using 50 pound dumbbells just so I can get the slow contraction and feel the movement. It feels amazing. Everybody knows this, a little slap on the legs there. This is gonna be a three by 15 of leg extensions. Leg extensions I really like if you have the right machine. Some machines you don't feel it as much and you feel it more in your knees, but on the one at Wilmore, it's perfect. You feel it right in your quads where you want to. Look at them, look at them legs. They've grown so much, man. On leg press, we did a four by 10. The video messed up, so I had to record it twice, but here's a clip of each one so to show you the, how the reps are. But just, I don't like going all the way down and I don't like extending all the way. Just keep it moderate. On hamstring curls, this is a three by 15. Really push the back of your heels and you're gonna feel it a lot more in your hamstrings than you would if you try to push through anywhere else. So just try to really push to the back of your heels. 
comment down below if you're still at this point if you think i should make a new intro because i'm really wanting to on cab raises we had a three by 20 we ain't even really got to talk about it because they don't grow no matter what you do you can try to get your plantar flexion your dorsal flexion all that good stuff but it ain't growing and last but not least actually another one of my good favorite movements we have goblet squats three by eight get a kettlebell hold it up in front of your face what you want to do is you want to sink your hips as low as you can get them and just try to work on more of a form to get your main squat like your barbell squat better screenshot and try this let me know how it goes in the comment section to finish the workout off we did a one mile run immediately regretted this as soon as i got done but it's to get all the lactic acid out make you not as sore the next day help your heart stay in good shape all that good stuff is going up the speed a little bit but after you do legs run you a mile okay here's where i finish all right what did wheelmore training just hook us up with Oh baby, this is in the hands of Isaiah Pinky Fitness and X Lee Training, huh? Guys, never run a mile after doing legs. Do it. Do it, do it if you're bad, but I'm bad. Almost got hit with my car. I'm just kidding. No, it, it, it's okay. detrimental. Almost died. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thanks so much for watching. As always, like, share, subscribe. And guys, my channel blew up recently. I don't know why, but I'm loving it. So all the people that subscribe, if you're watching this video, thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one.